Okay, YouTube, today I'm going to show you the new Zafaria trainers. I think there are two, if I remember correctly, two that actually matter. One is right here in Drum Jungle. After you've completed the whole, I think it goes, Market, and then Savannah, and then Samunda, and then Stone Town, then Waterfront, and then... Then you get to come to Drum Jungle. And right when you get off Sobaka's boat, located next to Mango Mago One Tusk, right here on the map, right here on Stone Town, the little of little red flag. He's not showing up on the map, but right here by the little red dot. And then you see this little obelisk thing. I think it's a yes, yeah, it's a Sun School trainer. After you walk up, it's a Sun Obelisk. My bad. After you walk up to it, oh, sorry, I think I've already taken a spell. Well, there's one spell called Extraordinary, and that does 25% accuracy, which is good for the people who already have like 20, 25%, because then a smoke screen will still not live up to the expectations of their accuracy. Then it does a 15 pierce, and with the new level 68 gear, I think once Storm, it gives a, the Storm Chaser's robe gives about 3 pierce and stuff, and some good damage, but that is level 64 and you need 1 training point, and in order to train that, you have needed to train in the Floating Lands, which I will go there in a minute, you have need to train all the little arrow ones. I've trained all the, um, like, Gargantuan and the, so you, so you've at least need to, um, trained Unstoppable, I think it is. I don't know, we'll be there in a minute. And then, the other spell I have already taken, which is on my deck, go to my Astral Spells, right here it's Colossal, plus 275, tough to one damage, I think, to one spell. And it's 50 better than Garg, 100 better than Monstrous, and... Well, I don't know. I don't do math with 150 better than Giant. And you have to train all these. Keen Eyes is the first one, which I thought I had to train to train Colossal to get to Gargantuan, because I knew you had to train that. And I realized I didn't, so I decided to stop. So I have all these, and I don't have any more of those. And my other actual spells are from Celestia. I have Empowerment, which gives one pip from incoming spells. And I also have an Amplify that gives 15 tough to one spell. I think it's tough. I don't know if I'm saying this right. I don't care. And here's a Vengeance. So this gives 20 critical for 4 rounds. And I have a Polymorph Gobbler. It turns you to an Ice Gobbler for 6 rounds. You get about 5,000 health. And your best spells are basically like the Fish Bones. that just do a little bit of heal. And the Polymorph Treat is my personal favorite Polymorph. But I'm not a big fan of Polymorphs. You... Getting a life, of course, it's a life spell, but you get to a life, and you have about, I think the spells are Satire, you have Satire, you have Dryad, you have Regenerate, and you have, yeah, yeah, that's all, on healing, and then you have some special attack moves, I'm thinking evening in my balance, oh, I'm showing balance, it's in my balance, so that's what they have at this train, and then, the other one is located in, I believe, Zamunda. So let's go there. Okay, let's just go to the crossroads because I do not feel like walking. So I'm kind of lazy. This is a waterfront. Nice little place. And I don't think you occur any instances here besides Black Palace, which is a small dungeon, a couple of bosses. It's not hard. Right here is the crossroads, located next to the instance called Mirror Lake, the final Safaria dungeon. I was very excited about that. And I think every time you go there, you get a... I don't know if I have any more, because I think I fed them all to my tiny little sea dragon here. I think you, every time you come... I don't know. It's called a pixie stick. It gives plus... I know. I don't know what... It, like, it's all spread out between all of the... Um... All of the... Like talents or like strength and you know what I mean, and it gives that so it gives like eight strength, like five whatever, and it gives thirty all and all that's all I know. There are a couple of vendors over here. The pet snack vendor gives all the rank five, I think, a spicy drumstick, the square root, which is a life, which is actually rank four. I'm surprised to see it there. 
Rank 4, another rank 4. I was surprised. The best one that says King Banana. My pet basically likes all snacks because it's a good pet. It actually has the highest pedigree in the game. 72. This is an Athen at Thames, I don't know. And wand. It gives a 24 crit wand for any school. So that's good. Then they have these things, which it's like you know the bear claws or whatever? Well it gives like one more like damage than that, so I guess it's good if you're a damage freak, like one more counts, but not really to me. And you have the gym merchant, which I've seen a lot of people wearing. You have the Shango amulets, which I get the Stormblade amulet, because of course I am a storm. And so it was nice to have it. The clother, I think she just saw some like really bad safari gear. I think most people have it. Let's see. Yeah, he's got the Shango's Death Blade. Scott. Let's see, Scott. I'm pretty sure Scott has it. Oh, he has a Life Mastery. I don't blame him for that. That's actually a really good spell to have. Even if your secondary school isn't life, it's a very good spell to have. It's a very good amulet to have because in PvPs, you could basically dominate the competition. And I'm saying that because you could get some rebirth treasures and some forest lord treasures. And when you're like ice and they're using like maybe ice shields, you could always special attack them with a forest lord or something. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. I, I'm going to the um, drum jungle tree here again. Mm. My bad. Let's go to the crossroads again. Sorry, I'm really bad with directions. And there's a sock monkey, by the way, if you did not see that. Uh, I have a video of that, I just have not narrated it yet, which I will tonight, and maybe put it on YouTube. Yeah, I have no idea where the hell am I going. Okay. Zamunda, finally. Okay, it's in the place, I don't know if it's Zamunda outskirts or Zamunda right here, but it's in the place with the ice zebras, and my favorite area, I'd have to say... It's probably Zamunda or Savannah. I like the lions because that was kind of fun. When I did it, the only thing that bugged me is there were no spots. It took me forever to defeat like four fire lions or something. And it took me two hours just to get a spot. So it's kind of annoying. Okay, once you enter right here, you see the king's tomb. You take a basically a left, but you see the um, sin... Suzani Sunrunner and some Okag Defenders or whatever and you'll see a Star School Trainer. You have to get a quest and all of these quests come from um, White Stripes in the Bow Bow Crossroads. I have never been able to pronounce it and it's by the Princess and the Queen so I have not trained anything of this. It's Berserk which gives 40 incoming 30 outgoing which I think is the most stupid actual spell I've ever seen in my life. I think this because it's kill you faster than you can kill them. Right here, maybe to make up for it, is a mend. 20 incoming healing for the next round. Well, too bad you can't combine them because that would very much help. Okay, so you're right here, and that's basically all the trainers. Like I said, I was going to take you to the floating land, so let's go there. Uh, the quick, I just go in the quickest way I know. I'm not, didn't mark any locations. I didn't really prepare for this video, it's just going to be me talking about what I feel I need to get out there. Okay, I'm going to go to Celestia, if we'll hurry up and load, and right here you take a left, I think, I think I've already found all the lounging lizards, which is how I got some training points to train. I started from going from the lounging lizards here, I think, no, it was the stone roses. I started from going to the Stone Roses and I had everything else and t and I haven't traded any of the spells in the Floating Land, like any of the damage boost spells. And I got all of them from going to a couple worlds, doing a couple more quests, doing the- I did the Wallflowers, I did the Lounging Lizards, I did the Monkeys, which got me three, which got me three of them, and then I needed two more, so I did this quest from like Ogin Peak or something, which if you collect some random things gives you a training point. I don't know why. And also I got really good help from the Ignaya White Stripes quest that gives you two training points. You have to collect the staff of Solomon and then kill a boss which gives you a training point. Then it says go somewhere and talk to somebody or something and you get another training point which is very helpful. I never trained any of these so 
that. Didn't really feel the need for these, I guess. People are like, you need to be able to not fizzle. Yeah, and you need to be able to kill too, so can't put two on there once I take damage. So you guys can just suck it. And here's a wooden chest, just like to get these for extra gold. Oh, great, more questing. More crafting. I'm a bad crafter. Wait, I'm not gonna get into side subjects. But everything that trains here is is um strong is the first spell. Then it's giant, then it's monstrous, then it's guard, then it's colossal. Keen eyes is the first accuracy spell. And that's the only ones from here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was full of information for you. If you need have any ideas for any more videos, please post it on the comments box below. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.